Howdy! Welcome to Rhinestone Roper Ranch. Today we're going to be talking more about the merry-go-round. But first, hit that subscribe button and push that little bell. I'd appreciate it. A few of you have sent me videos on your, your merry-go-rounds looking for some help and I appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. But I realized in my last video there's a few things I should have stressed a little bit more and we'll hit those today. You really do want to get a good merry-go-round going because it, it's a trick that doesn't wear you out. You can do it and talk uh, and because it twists in the opposite direction of your wedding ring. So you can do a bunch of merry-go-rounds twisting your rope one direction then step in and build your loop up for a, a wedding ring and have a longer time to do your wedding ring before the twists interfere with what you're doing. Also, it leads into a bunch of other tricks, so it's a, it's a valuable trick to learn. I see that in the prior video, it just looks like that loop just keeps going no matter what, but it doesn't. <laughs> you got to keep spinning it, and you got to build up some momentum before the loop goes behind your back. And that is because when the loop's out here in front, you can lean over it and drag it in a circle and keep it going. But it's when, when it's behind your back, you can't reach back there and make a circle. So you got to get going here. You got to build up some momentum. You got to speed it up right here. And then when it comes back to this, to this shoulder, then, then hopefully it's still going and you haven't lost any loop. The problem is for most of us, especially when you're learning, that loop gets behind your back, the loop loses momentum, and the Honda slides. So you've lost, you've lost loop. And then you get over here, you got to drag it through your hand to make up for it and build it back up. But we don't want to do that. We want to make it look smooth and pretty. As you recall, it takes three circles to do the merry-go-round. And we'll count the circles uh, by the times that the Honda comes close to your body. So the loop comes here, the loop's close to your body. I'd, I'd call this number one. Then it comes around here, comes behind your back, and then it comes close to your body next to your, to your rope and shoulder. That's two. Then it comes here, comes close to your body, that's three. And you can bring it over here to one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two and three are almost in the same spot. Two here, three here. One here, two here, three. But as you come across here, the loop travels from here to here, you can kind of speed it up here, and then just the fact that your spoke is starting here for number one, as you bring it around, just the fact you're dragging it around horizontally that direction will also speed it up. But you got to have a good loop here going with some, moment, some momentum to make it take. As you know, when we're talking momentum, we're just talking speed of the loop. The speed of the loop. Speed of the loop is keeping that loop expanded. Gravity is dragging that Honda down. Momentum of the loop is pushing the Honda back up. So you reach that balance. The fact that the loop is going around your body is also a centrifugal force that's acting on the Honda. So you got gravity and that centrifugal force acting on the Honda wanting it to slip away. So you got to make sure you got good momentum here, good momentum here, and then right here. You've come off your shoulder here, get your elbow in the air, bring that loop around here, and you come here, get some momentum belt coming around here, and then as you come around the back, as you drag it around the back, you reach back there, and that's another place you can get some momentum. Two three, one, two, three. If the merry-go-round is smooth, you don't really realize that the roper is doing that. But that's the whole ball game. Making sure you got a good fast loop right here so when you take it across, you can try to speed it up behind you a little bit there. Here at this shoulder. And then back down here. Let's take a look at it. Take it down into a flat loop. All right, here we go. Pull it around. Pull it around right there. Around, pull it around. Speeding up right here. Around, yeah. 
There we go. Anyway, there's some pointers. <laughs> the main thing, make sure you got some momentum. You can build momentum going into number one, and then as you pull that around your back, the fact you're pulling that spoke around your back, making it travel, also can speed it up. Coming back to this shoulder, and underneath this elbow. Anyway, I hope that helps. You might take a look at uh, some of these other uh, uh, videos are coming up and I, I really do enjoy getting your videos showing me your progress. We'll talk to you later.